The latest Microsoft Azure DevOps Engineer AS400 Real Questions are newly updated for your best preparation. Pass Question offers the latest Microsoft Azure DevOps Engineer AS400 Real Questions that will help you to pass the Microsoft AS400 exam with outstanding results on your first attempt. Question 1. You have Azure Pipelines and GitHub integrated as a source code repository. The build pipeline has continuous integration enabled. You plan to trigger an automated build whenever code changes are committed to the repository. You need to ensure that the system will wait until a build completes before queuing another build. What should you implement? A path filters b batch changes c scheduled builds d branch filters answer b question 2 you have a project in azure devops you plan to deploy a self-hosted agent by using an unattended configuration script which two values should you define in the configuration script? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. A. Authorization credentials B. The project name C. The deployment group name D. The organization URL E. The agent pool name. Answer. A. D. Question 3. In Azure DevOps, you create Project 3. You need to meet the requirements of the project. What should you do first? A. From Azure DevOps, create a service endpoint. B. From SonarCube, obtain an authentication token. C. From Azure DevOps, modify the build definition. D. From SonarCube, create a project. Answer. A. Question 4. You need to perform the GitHub code migration. The solution must support the planned changes for the DevOps environment. What should you use? A. Git clone B. GitHub importer C. Import repository in Azure repos D. Git TFS Answer. A. Question 5. You need to meet the technical requirements for controlling access to Azure DevOps. What should you use? A. Azure Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA B. On-premises firewall rules C. Conditional access policies in Azure AD D. Azure Role-Based Access Control, Azure RBAC, Answer, B. Question 5. You need to configure Azure Pipelines to control App2 builds. Which authentication method should you use? A. Windows NTLM B. Certificate C. SAML D. Personal Access Token PAT Answer D. Question 7. You are automating the build process for a Java-based application by using Azure DevOps. 
You need to add code coverage testing and publish the outcomes to the pipeline. What should you use? A. Cobertura B. Junit C. Coverage.py D. Bullseye Coverage Answer A. Question 8. You have an Azure DevOps project that uses many package feeds. You need to simplify the project by using a single feed that stores packages produced by your company and packages consumed from remote feeds. The solution must support public feeds and authenticated feeds. What should you enable in DevOps? A. Universal packages. B. Views in Azure Artifacts C. Upstream Sources D. A Symbol Server Answer. B. Question 9. You have a free tier of an Azure DevOps organization named Contoso. Contoso contains 10 private projects. Each project has multiple jobs with no dependencies. You frequently run the jobs on five self-hosted agents but experience long build times and frequently queued builds. You need to minimize the number of queued builds and the time it takes to run the builds. What should you do? A. Purchase self-hosted parallel jobs. B. Register additional self-hosted agents. C. Purchase Microsoft-hosted parallel jobs. D. Configure the pipelines to use the Microsoft-hosted agents. Answer. A. Question 10. You administer an Azure DevOps project that includes package feeds. You need to ensure that developers can unlist and deprecate packages. The solution must use the principle of least privilege. Which access level should you grant to the developers? A. Collaborator B. Contributor C. Owner Answer B.